Hello and welcome back to Data News of the Week, the roundup of all of the stories involving data of the week that I can't squeeze into other videos. Yes, the biggest story of the week has obviously been the PS5 stuff, but I'm doing dedicated videos on that. This is mainly about all the other things happening in data, although I will say it's very SSD heavy this week. First and foremost, over on hothardware.com, that's right, PCIe Gen 5 SSDs. We only just got used to PCIe Gen 4 SSDs, and now we're talking about PCIe Gen 5. These are SSDs with the potential bandwidth of 16 gigabytes a second, 16 thousand megabytes per second throughput obviously the ssd is going to have to deliver that throughput through there with the nand and the controllers but it does look like the hardware manufacturers are already hot on the case now the intel alder lake series of cpus are some of the earliest kind of big name cpus out there that are going to be allowing pcie gen 4 uh, sorry, Gen 5 bandwidth on these M2 SSDs. And alongside that, you've got the Bavaria SC5 controller that's already been talked about with promised throughput, at least in that early generation, of providing 14 thousand megabytes per second read and nine thousand megabytes per second right there but that's still not fully saturating that connection and it isn't you know this is way 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 beyond full release where they're talking about the second quarter of 2022 is when these things are going to be actually physically in our hands next up a story from the registrar and a little bit of an embarrassing one for cloud storage provider scale away cloud uh, when just over a year ago they actually lost some of their ssds ssds were stolen from them they've only ever highlighted one but it seems really really odd that they're saying one single ssd was stolen in transit between data centers uh, an ssd i believe it was a samsung ssd and then one year later just a short while ago this ssd turned up on a popular french youtube channel where this guy basically said he bought an ssd on ebay and it was full of unencrypted data information related to vpn i think a popular um, italian vpn some ssh keys are on there and it was just it's super super embarrassing and we always take for granted with cloud providers that all of that data lives there on data centers on the cloud but that's the point it's in data centers it's centers it's in physical places and all too often these data centers will physically move data physical data from location to location obviously they have multiple 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 copies but the idea that there was unencrypted data ready and available and indeed stealable in some way is actually pretty embarrassing for this company. And although they have said they're reviewing their data practices in the way that we know a lot of big companies always give a lot of lip service afterwards. And although a lot of the assets about this are now gone, it has to be said, this is pretty embarrassing for a cloud provider that will always talk about ultimate redundancy and security and then lose a physical disk. Next up, over on TrendForce, let's talk about SSDs. It is bad news. I know you probably didn't want to hear this, but the prices are going to go up again. Due to the high demand of, you know, not even just high performance SSDs in the last year or so, but just general all SSDs out there, the high demand from consumers and business users has led to the shortages getting even worse. And with a lot of those components only going into the higher end ranges of SSDs, they are stating that quarter on quarter at Q321, you're looking at a 7% rise, but it is going to get worse because the way um, SSD supplies and uh, just generally the big brands and they are shifting focus towards that higher end SSDs, that means that only these larger end SSDs that command not only higher price tags, but uh, an end user bracket who are prepared to pay more, they are speculating over on TrendForce that prices may go as high as 15% higher. And when we're talking about SSDs, like in the last day or so, we've been talking about PCIe Gen 4 SSDs for PS5 where 4TB is starting at a grand. The idea of 15% rise is on that within the year. Oh no, not a fan of that. Our second to last story does again involve SSDs. It's another super fast PCIe Gen 4 SSD that's arriving on the market. It's a Chinese manufacturer, Asgard, who are largely associated with memory and SSDs, of course, and their new SSD, the AN4, promises 7,500 megabytes per second sequential read and 5,500 sequential write. So that is going to put it into that PS5 bracket, but there are still much more powerful SSDs out there. Arriving at 500 gig, 1 TB and 2 TB, 
GTB, this SSD is utilizing a rarely seen Rainer controller, the IG5236, and yes, I'm reading it off my notes. It is taking advantage of 128 layer NAND, and that's again, you know, 3D TLC NAND inside there, and it is the Micron. Um, but this SSD, they are saying is high endurance. That's really, really important. Now, although they haven't stated the TBW, the DWPD stats on that, Although there are a lot of super fast SSDs in the market right now, it's only really Seagate who are properly tackling endurance. I'm going to make a whole dedicated video on this. But this idea that the SSDs have not only got to have a decent write per day on them, but the fact that within that five-year lifespan, if you don't have a highly enduring SSD, then that performance will gradually dip over time as the NAND just takes a battering. So if this Asgard um, AN4 SSD can genuinely have high endurance, that is something that might challenge the Firecuda 530. But right now, the Fire, Fire, Firecuda 530 pretty much rules the roost on PCIe Gen 4 endurance. And finally, our last story, a little bit off kilter, but unfortunately, whenever you are talking about data in the consumer and home sector, one subject always seems to bubble to the surface. You can't help it. Pornography. And uh, there is a story right now on Daily Mail Online involving the Bollywood female actor Shelpa Shetty. Um, again, she was over in the UK and a bunch of other social stuff uh, in, the, I believe, the 20-teens. Um, she's a very, very high-profile female Bollywood star, and her husband has been arrested for storing 48 terabytes of pornography. Now, there's a lot more to this story, I've got to say. Uh, the husband, Raj Kendra, he has been arrested because... Again, in India, the rules on pornography distribution, streaming, and recording are incredibly strict. Again, we're not going to discuss a, a geopolitical, um, you know, stances here. But again, 48 terabytes of porn for distribution, whether it's as a larger group doing it or just to streaming via mobile apps. Again, that is a lot of porn. And again, there are um, accusations in this story about him coercing uh, female actresses and just female female people in general to be involved in the pornography um but just generally 48 terabytes of pornography in one place uh, that is a huge amount of porn this has been your data news of the week i hope you enjoyed this video once again we do these every single week so if you want to stay informed click subscribe and of course click like but apart from that thank you so much for watching this i'll see you next week and we've got some great videos coming up soon involving ps5 compatibility and performance testing i will see you next time